Protests and the threat of war continue to surge around the world. The nations are angry and according to Revelation, God's law is soon to be brought out into the open, but Satan will counter it with the mark of the beast. We have reported a few times during the past year how people are rising up in anger and frustration all over the world. With protests and violence increasing, we have had protests regarding climate change, pay cuts, racial divides, etc. And now in 2020, that has continued with protests in America and around the world due to the recent killing of George Floyd. People in cities around the world have marched in solidarity with demonstrators in the U.S. As politicians and public figures unite to condemn the killing of George Floyd. Thousands of people demonstrated in central London. There were protests outside the U.S. Embassy in Copenhagen. Hundreds of demonstrators gathered in Berlin. Tens of thousands of people marched from Oeda Square in central Auckland. Source will be in the description below. According to research, we have seen a surge in protests and unrest during the past couple years and it is expected to continue to rise in 2020. Source will be in the description below. Also, the threat of war between the US, China, Russia, Iran, Israel, India, Pakistan abound. This is an incredible fulfillment of prophecy and another sure sign that we are living right in the last days of this Earth's history. Before the outpouring of God's wrath and the second coming of Jesus Christ. Look at what was confirmed in Revelation 11. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Now, what is connected with the nations being angry? The time of God's wrath. And in what contains the wrath of God in the last days? The seven last plagues. Revelation 15 verse 1. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of God. At this moment in time, the four angels are still holding back the winds of strife. See Revelation 7 verse 1. But one day, very soon, those winds of strife are going to be let loose. And the world will convulse and the plagues will be poured out. But who are the plagues specifically for? Revelation 18 verse 4 says they are for Babylon, the apostate churches of the world. This is why God is sending an urgent warning to his people saying, Revelation 18 verses 4 through 5. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. The churches have become fallen Babylon because they have rejected the commandments of God and are placing tradition above the law of God. Now pay close attention to the following. Look at what Revelation 11 verse 19 says God is going to do after the warning of the nations being angry. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament, and there were lightnings, and voices, and thunderings, and an earthquake, and great hail. What was in the Ark of the Testament on earth? The Ten Commandments. So God is going to reveal to the world his moral law contained in the Ten Commandments, which the churches and the world have trampled upon. When God's temple in heaven is opened, what a triumphant time that will be for all who have been faithful and true. In the temple will be seen the Ark of the Testament in which were placed the two tables of stone, on which are written God's law. These tables of stone will be brought forth from their hiding place, 
and on them will be seen the Ten Commandments engraved by the finger of God. These tables of stone now lying in the Ark of the Testament will be a convincing testimony to the truth and binding claims of God's law. The churches have trampled upon these commandments of God by substituting His Holy Seventh Day Sabbath with Rome's Sunday Sabbath. The churches have trampled upon these commandments by substituting the one true God with Rome's Trinity God. And the churches have trampled upon these commandments by telling the people that they will be saved in their sins rather than from their sins. Which is why the majority think it is fine to continue living a life of sin. And which is why the sin of homosexuality is now being accepted in many churches. But God is going to reveal the glory and binding claim of the Ten Commandments. And show that His remnant people who are saved by faith are also keepers of His law through Christ dwelling within. Oh! How many are going to be without a shelter when the wrath of God is poured out? Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Does Satan know this? Yes. The devil knows Bible prophecy better than anyone on earth which is why he is gathering the churches in this ecumenical movement, uniting them on the traditions of men rather than the precepts of God. Satan is working diligently to raise up a false revival to counter the truth that is found in God's holy law, which will result in the enforcement of the mark of the beast. Please make sure to check out our Mark of the Beast article, it will be in the description below. With all the trouble in the world, people are looking for a savior, and Satan will present himself as that savior to mankind. Moral laws will be enforced around the world to combat the troubles, but they will be the laws of papal Rome, not God. Rome's Sunday Sabbath will be lifted up and honored in place of God's Seventh Day Sabbath. But God is yet to do His final work, and He is going to lighten this world with His glory, see Revelation 18 verses 1 through 4, and call His people out of the fallen churches. Please see our article, Come Out of Babylon, My People. It will be in the description below. Yes. The nations are angry. Soon, the restraint will be removed, and the winds will blow. The wrath of God will fall upon those who have united with the beast, and the end will come. The signs are all around us, telling us that our probation is soon to close, and the wrath of God will be poured out. Please heed the warning, friends. Please heed God's calling to come out of Babylon and seek shelter in the Lord of hosts. Please seek the truth in Christ as great deceptions are around us. Please do not follow the churches or the world any longer. Please find out the truth of the following important subjects. The Three Angels' Message the Sabbath Day Truth We are complete in Christ Righteousness by Faith All the links to these subjects will be in the description below. Please prayerfully read and study them. God bless. And visit our website for more amazing Bible truths. Please prayerfully study this information as it is of utmost importance for everyone. Also, to stay up to date on end time news, go to our website, like our Facebook page, 
and follow us on Twitter. All links will be in the description below. Thank you for listening and please heed the warning. God bless. Thank you for watching. I pray this message has opened your eyes. Please make sure to read the links in the description and check out these amazing Bible truth videos. For more amazing Bible truths slash Bible studies, go to end-times-prophecy.org. The links will be in the description below. God bless.